Today we're building a Twitter thread generator where we can feed a topic like the future of writing with AI. And this is how the large language models has, they have changed writing forever. And let's get ourselves a thread. Right, let's try it again, see if we get something else. The tweet thread generator. So first of all, um, I took our viral tweet generator and I added two buttons here, tweet hooks and Twitter threads. And by default, tweet hooks will be selected. So I will start by creating a uh, state on this group generate group tweet generator. Custom state, add a new state. I'm just going to call it state and it's going to be a text. Default's going to be hooks. And we're going to say that this is group tweet generator Should probably rename this tweet generator generate. Didn't mean to do it in caps, but anyway. Generates state is hooks. Oops. Hooks. All right. Then background color is going to be then. Font color is going to be sure and uh, twitter threads we're gonna have uh, copy the conditional formatting here we're gonna paste the conditional formatting we're gonna change it to hooks from hooks i mean to threads and when we click this we are going to change the state to threads and do the same with uh, the hooks so when this clicked state set a state of what item will the tweet generator generate? We just had set custom state to threads, right? We're gonna copy this one, copying the workflow there, going back to the design tab, gonna start edit tweet hooks, and I'm gonna paste, and I'm gonna change the state to hooks. And let's see if we preview this, if this works like it should. Okay, so let's go to Twitter, Tweet Generator. So it's chosen by default, Twitter threads. Great. So these only changes when the condition, uh, sorry, when the state changes, right? So our state change is now active, which means this works. So the reason I'm doing this is that by default, we'll generate Twitter hooks, but if we want to generate whole threads, we're going to have a different prompt and a different sort of things on the front end. So I just wanted to start with the button so it makes sense as a user from the user endpoint. So this is how it will look like. And you're going to start by hooks uh, by default, or you can do threads as well. So um, let's prepare for um, our prompt. Now, the second step here is creating a few shot prompt with GPT-3 or any other AI language model that gets you um, generate at least a draft of Twitter threads. So what I've done is I found a couple of Twitter threads that I think are good. And I just made a quick version of this now to show you. So what I'm prompting here is um, I have topic, description, and then a th Twitter thread. So I have a written topic and descriptions of a bunch of tw Twitter threads and then taking them here in this format. And then I'm prompting, I'm giving a topic, a description, and it's gonna generate a Twitter thread. 
and each tweet here is starting with a number and then I just um, in the post processing of showing the output here I just split by number so we should have a list of tweets going do 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 that at least is a draft of a Twitter thread. So let's now with that said let's give a um, different sort of uh, front end for when it's a thread versus when it's a, a single tweet. So I already have another uh, function where I split an output by numbers and that is for the blog headlines. So I'm actually gonna grab the blog head headline output here. So not this one, but maybe, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this here. And uh, well, actually I'm gonna paste it in there. So I'm gonna paste it in here, yes. Okay, so where are we? Group generation, solid, solid. And we're gonna have some space in between here. Okay, so this is gonna be the single tweet and this is gonna be the tweet thread, but I also probably wanna replace this with how a tweet will look like. So where am I here? Here. Uh, group text. Uh huh, it's the whole repeating group. So I probably don't need. Let me actually do this. Let's see what that gets us. So let me do this, but. Okay, it is a repeating group and what's the, what am I taking? I'm taking group completion, group blog completions trimmed extract. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, uh, so here we have group tweets generation completion and that's what we want in this repeating group as well. So we want group tweet group tweet generations completion prim extract with rejects here's the rejects to um, split something or extract something without um, numbers so this should work and parent groups text finder replace we don't need this one so let's see here uh, this should be parent groups thing. Parent source text. Maybe it's just the text, this one. And then we have, it's gonna be parent groups text. And what's the issue here? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Let's just put text here as well. Okay. So what's gonna happen now is when we click uh, write viral, viral tweets, uh, by default it's gonna create hooks. So we need to say when the state is something else, we're gonna have a different uh, hook. Yeah, sorry, prompt. And then we're gonna display this group instead. Um, so uh, let's actually just try to see where we're at first. So let's go here, start edit workflow. I'm gonna put this previous to only when tweet generators generators state is hooks. And then I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this. Uh, or 
actually we can do this. Let's have separate variables instead. So we're gonna say this only when tweet generations generate state is hook. And then we're going to copy this and we are going to, ah, sorry, paste. Uh, so here's the paste and we're going to say only do when this is threads. And when it is threads, we're going to have a different, first of all, we're going to have more tokens, 2000 tokens, threads are longer. Then we're going to copy this. So this is the prompt I showed you. Paste this like so, and then we have topic here already, and we have a description, and then we have a tweet thread. That's what we should have. Okay, so. What we need to do is we need to um, add description here. We're gonna have tweet descriptions value. Okay, so that's it pretty much. Um, so what we have to do, what's gonna happen now is when we are when we have tweet hooks, we're gonna write hooks. When we have threads, we're gonna write thread. So now we just need to know that um uh, what to show so for example when when we have hook state uh, this should not be visible so let's say yes that's true but also when to gen generate Actually, let's say when this state is is not uh, hooks, the element is not visible. And we're going to have copy this condition. And this we're going to say when it's not threads, this is not visible. It should be visible by default. All right. So let's try this out. Let's see where this gets us. So AI copywriter, uh, Twitter tools. Let me remove the debug mode here. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's say the biggest take always from physics. Phys, phys, how, how is that spelled? Physics. Like that? <laughs> And here is a short Twitter thread. The biggest takeaways from physics, loss of the physics of physics are universal. Everything is made of atoms. Atoms are held together by forces. There are four forces. The universe is constantly expanding and so on. So this is just a draft Twitter thread, but you get the point. So uh, we're done here. See you soon. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. All right. Bye.